Hello friends, welcome back to my channel if Sheikh Excel Master and this is Faraz Sheikh with you. As usual, we are going to do today a video on a Power Query and we are going to learn some amazing things with the Power Query. Well, I would like to thank all my viewers, subscribers and my followers and I'm very happy to get your feedbacks and your messages and you're coming up with amazing questions and I really love those questions. I'm going to come up with solutions and this is a question being asked by one of our friend. So let us look for today's video, what do we have now? Well, this is the data what I have received from one of our friend working in NHR department. Basically, the list is quite long. They have a lot of information like driving license, address proof, and they have some family addresses, and, and there are a lot of information available over here. Now, what is happening that whenever the employee is coming and giving his passport details or a copy, they are registering his employee number. If he's coming up and giving an address proof, they are registering again his employee number. And if he comes up with the driving license, they will add his driving license. Now, in this case, the employee number 169 have submitted all these three documents. But there are employees, those who have not submitted some documents, like 23007. Oh, <laughs> that's James Bond license to kill well he doesn't have a driving license so we need to get that list so what we are going to do here is we are going to jump to power query go to data from table slash ranges so it has taken my data into the source okay my table has headers yes it has headers it's going to load to the power query wonderful it has added the data type I'm just going to reverse the step and we are going to give a nice name to our table we are going to say it as docs submitted okay we are going to remove this column because we don't need this date column now this is the list what we have now first thing what we are going to do is we are going to make a unique list of these employee numbers so we're going to select the data from passport by holding the shift key I selected the entire data. I'll go to transform and I'm going to click unpivot. Wonderful. This is what we were looking for. Great. And what we are going to do, we are going to make a reference of this one. You must be wondering what is reference and duplicate. There's an amazing video by Excel and Fire. So you can check out that video. I'm going to share that link in this description. It's been explained in detail and very nicely that what is the difference between duplicate and reference well i'll be covering up a video on this one soon but if you would really like to know what it is i would suggest you to go and check that video i'll select my query i'll hit f2 and we'll give it a nice name unique employee employee number okay and we're going to remove it and we're going to call this as employee numbers and now we are going to select this column home and remove duplicates okay so it is going to give me a unique list again i am going to go to my document submitted list and i'm going to make a reference again we are going to rename right click rename or by hitting f2 we're going to call it as documents list unique documents list yeah you guessed it right my friends this time I'm going to remove this column and we are going to go home and remove duplicates as usual give a nice name documents list that's wonderful so we got our documents list and we got our employee list now we are going to create a multiple combinations of these documents with the employee number now how to create that combinations i would just simply create a new reference i'll make a reference okay again and this time i'm going to call it this reference as multiple combinations let us call as multiple combo okay I'm going to go to add column custom column 
on this custom column we are going to call it as unique employee list note my friends it is case sensitive so you make sure that you give your query name correctly see in this case we have not list as numbers okay so we will say okay and now we are going to expand this table and we don't need prefix names and we will just hit okay so those are all the multiple combinations we have it in the list once we have this combinations now if you have worked with merge queries you must be knowing what i'm going to do now i'm going to go to merge queries merge as new queries okay and this new merge query i'm going to say with document submitted and i'm going to compare these values i'll hold my control key and my document so if you can see over here it is written one and two again here value one and this is my value two select this as my left hand eye join because i'm going to say guys whoever are here and here get out from that list okay bingo so these are the numbers which are missing basically and i'll expand this table and show it to you it will be null that's right it's it should be null because those are no more with us and let us look our james bond where is he oh here is it <laughs> zero zero seven lying down and we're going to just sort it in ascending that looks good and if you would like to group the numbers i have earlier covered many videos how to group it into one line so you can just have a look on that video let us give a nice name docs not submitted close and load to we are going to create only connection because if i load it it will load all the tables in my excel sheet we want this documents not submitted right click load to table and we want it over here we'll hit ok wonderful 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 that is amazing i'm sure my friends you are going to love this video so this is amazing my friends you've got your data over here all the numbers who are missing from this list now let us go and add some more data to our list and this is the data what I have here and we are going to just move it up cool this automatically took the data into the range right click and refresh James Bond where are you he's no more in the list yes on 30th of August, he has submitted his driving license details. Isn't it amazing, my friends? When I got this query, I was really excited and I was trying to do something with VBA. But suddenly I got a solution and I thought, no, the best solution is to do it with Power Query. So let us put up with the Power Query. It's easy, it's efficient and effective. This is what we need. We have to always look for the solution what is best suiting for us for that situation. I always recommend people not to go for a solution that will take hours and hours to build it and then later on you yourself will crack down. Just always try to make it very simple so that it can be helpful for everyone. And as usual, now we have done with the power query and I'm going to play my favorite track. And this is my best track and I'm going to play it for you. And I hope my friends you have enjoyed this video. So please push the like button, share this video, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button for the latest update. And there are more amazing Power Query videos going to come. So stay connected. And a soft copy of this file will be definitely available on my Facebook group page. 
so you can download and check the steps and even you can try it by yourself why not signing off for the day your friend Farah Sheikh from F Excel Master Yeah.